All right, ready? We're gonna stretch too. <laughs> oh! Ow! <laughs> Oh. Alright, let's pull it back. <coughs> it's like cat! Ew. Okay. <laughs> Everything I do is wrong. It's so I wrong! Do this. What? You, you do the intro. I'm I said one intro. thing. <laughs> Vinyl Vixen here at Rap Sesh. Today we're getting super, super weird. We're gonna run some experiments and do the battle of the brands. It's science, bitch. So on that side, I can't see it. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. <laughs> hey guys, Vinyl Vixen here. Today we're gonna get weird in the Rap Sesh lab. We're gonna run some science experiments and do the battle of the brands. Uh, it's science, bitch, so let's go. We're gonna do a little experiment today. We're just gonna kind of be messing around with vinyl, talk about the pros and cons of the materials that we like. Um, we're gonna be testing limits. We're gonna be testing limits, because that's really what matters. When it comes down to it, installing, it's knowing what your material is capable of. It's not knowing every single car, because every car is gonna be different. You have to understand what the material can do and how it can stretch, so it's really important to know that kind of stuff. We're gonna tell you guys our personal preferences on the different materials and things that we like and why. Yeah. Elder one. All right, so we got the Avery SW900. This is our top choice. Why is it our top choice, Michael? It's installer friendly. It is the most installer friendly. Definitely, I feel like, in my opinion, it's the easiest to work with. The next one we have is gonna be the 3M1080. So the next one, we don't use it very often. This is like in order to, so first choice, second choice. This Hexus, we hardly ever offer Hexus. I don't use the color change stuff a lot. The only stuff I really like to use from Hexus is gonna be their Super Chrome, which is a very excellent chrome material. Um, the last one is gonna be the Oracal or the Orafull 970RA. That's just a little idea. Don't quote me on all of this. This is just kind of some stuff I've done with my own research. I've talked to my Fellers rep. If you actually go onto the Fellers website, um, whenever you click directly on the series of like whatever color you want or material, they tell you all this stuff down there and break it down for you and it's really really helpful so you should check that out too but uh yeah let's get started on our little science experiment part one of the rap sesh lab experiment we're gonna do a little stretch test um what we consider a stretch test uh what we're basically gonna do is get those four brands of materials we got a nice little square we're gonna plop it on this little guy right here heat it up we should probably think of a better name but, for that. Uh, yeah, it could use it Like the punch name. test yeah, or yeah, something know. way cooler yeah. than trash can. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna punch through and then we're gonna measure it and see how deep it, it stretched in there. And then what we're also gonna test is when we heat this back up, how well does it reposition itself back to normal, which is called the, what's that called? So first we're gonna do Avery. Um, this is the Avery SW900 Gloss Lime Green. Call it rebound. The rebound, yeah. Rebound. Valentine's Day, everything's near, you know, you might rebound. need a rebound. Okay, so we're gonna see what the rebound is. That's so we're gonna heat it up with our IR heater for about 10 seconds, and then Michael's gonna punch through it as hard as he can. I mean, as fast as he can. I mean, <laughs> neither of those neither, things. Neither of He's those gonna those punch as far as deep as he can go. <laughs> and uh, we'll see where we get, and then we're gonna test the rebound on the material. So we'll heat this first with this, just so it's an uh, even amount of heat on each material. Um, for about mm, 10, 15 about 10, seconds. 15 seconds. Possibly. Still go a little longer. Um, actually, we, we get right in the middle. Pop an air channel up so we don't uh, cause a huge air bubble. Make sure we're good. Set, go. Um, oh. we're about 10 yeah, inches. 10 inches, exactly. 10 inches. So, what we're gonna do now. We'll put that on the board. So we're gonna re rebound this material and see how well it actually comes back to its natural state. Is that as much, it won't fix it out completely? Almost. Almost? Try yeah. to do it one more time. Let me let that cool down. Actually, let's just throw this on here real quick. 
And this is why Avery is so great and why we like to use it because you can really push the limits. And like when we're doing one piece things like one piece door jams and things like that, Avery is like usually our number one choice because we're not fussing with the material. It really stretches, it's really thin and easy to use and it's just overall a really great material. So that's why we prefer it for the harder stuff. For the most part, I mean, that has came back almost 100%. You're probably at like 95% there. Yeah, I mean, it's only got some real slight sl stretch marks. And that would probably end up coming out if you did install that or something. Right. So it, it does. So that, that was the limit of Avery right there. 10 inches on, on the trash can test. So it stretched 10. Yep. So let's so do the 3M. Right okay, so step two, we're on the 3M 1080. This is a gloss psychedelic. Flip. All right, so we're gonna heat it, not my legs, about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Right, you'll see from this other camera down here watching this that as it heats up, it just it really totally relaxes it. So that's one of the really good benefits of the 3M material. So we're good there. Look at the colors on it. That actually went down nice. It looks so cool. It's like a unicorn black hole. That actually went down. Uh, 11 and a half. I see 11 and a half. I mean, look how that, it just transforms. It's, it's really kind of crazy. Hold on, there's a little wrinkle there. So back almost 100%. Yeah, I back mean, I almost. only see some very, very faint like circle lines from just the pressure of it, but yeah. it's like it's very, very minimal, which is actually kind of surprising to me. And it did stretch more than Avery in that case. Yeah. What I was saying though about uh, variables, we don't have exactly consistent um, variables, obviously. Um, we, we may not necessarily be timing it exactly the same or applying the same amount of heat or the same amount of pressure. This is just kind of a stretch <laughs> test. So don't hassle me later in the comments about this, guys. <laughs> so we got the Hexus 20,000 series right here. This is uh, their Vario Chrome. It's not an actual Chrome, but it's called Vario Chrome. So it's one of their like shade shift materials. Um, take a little look at the back though. Cause the, you don't actually see like the adhesive. Oh, They're well, no, it's got a grid. This is a diamond pattern. Diamond pattern. Yep. Heat it up. You see it does relax it pretty quick. Mm -hmm. The key with a lot of these thicker materials is to just be installing in the right temperature. If you just have a little bit of warmth, you know, like this, while you're installing, it really just takes the edge off and you're not fighting wrinkles and things like that. So, there. these thicker materials, you need heat. Yep, Oracala usually use a lot of heat. Pop the air and... You waited long. Whoa. Nice. Get it eye level. My hand. Lower. <laughs> <laughs> 11? 11 inches. Alright. It's so cool to watch. That came back really nice, but I, I do see knuckle prints. Yep. But you didn't but you didn't get the radial marks. You didn't get the radial stretch marks like you did on the other two materials, but you got knuckle prints. That actually went and that pretty smoothly could too. Just be because of the, the metallic. In. Right. Because sometimes when you're Yeah, when you're dealing with pearls, metallics. Pearls or metallics. That affects get everything. Really, uh, the glass in them can actually just kind of separate and start making the, the material look. Or it can make the um, material more brittle too. Yeah. You need some color. I don't need any color. You're so boring. You're so basic. 
And last but certainly not least is the Oracal 970 RA. This is uh, like a matte lavender turquoise shade shift. Looks like there was a piece of tape on here that yeah, we could get off. Yeah, there was. This is from a while ago. A lot of people are afraid to use Oracal because their print stuff is like a nightmare. It's really, really thick and it's not conformable. But their 970 RA series is very, very nice um, and comparable to Avery in my opinion. It's just a little bit thicker. That one made a lot of noise. 11 and a half. 11 and so a half? All very similar. Even. Yep, very, very with my variables, bro. All right. So this looks like... This one didn't bounce back perfectly. You saw it, it was kind of wrinkly and stuff, so it didn't maybe bounce back as great. What did we call that, the rebound? The rebound. Yeah. It does have a very, you probably can't see it in the camera, but from right here I can see it. There's a huge mark from my fist. Right, from, right there. The, there's some lines in here too. And then there's some stress lines I see. So a lot more here, stress here, lines. Over here. And not as much rebound as the other ones. But it did stretch pretty much just about. I mean, with the right amount of heat, all of these materials will stretch as far as you need to, technically, because you shouldn't be pushing these limits anyways. These are obviously extreme Extremes. limits. Extremes, so. yep. All right, so we're gonna do test number two now. Um, these are just, how long are these? <laughs> Those are 21 inches. Okay, so science experiment number two. Uh, we're gonna test just how far we can stretch these pieces out right here. This is a like a 20 inch piece almost. So we're gonna heat it, Michael's gonna pull it, and then we're gonna see how far down we get and record the data. And re- And we're gonna rebound them rebound. too, yeah. All right, so you ready? Yeah. This is the Avery SW900. Just heat it up like you would. So we're gonna pull whatever we feel is comfortable. That's probably about right there. That's the limit right All there. All right, hold that. So we went from 19 inches down so to about, about 30, 30 inches. Inch. All right, and let's do a rebound on it. See how well it shrinks. Back. It's probably gonna get stuck on itself. There you go. So for the most part, other than the edges, I wanted to see how well that hard. went to. So That's it, about, yeah, 19 inches again. So it went back to its normal state. It just doesn't look as normal. <laughs> well, it's, it's hard to keep the edges from not folding over. Definitely. All right, so let's do the next one. Keep it up. And test two, we've got 3M1080. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hola! It's about the limit right there. And we are at about 32 inches. Are you seeing lines though? No, I'm seeing a lot of separation in the laminate. The laminate is actually separating in the vinyl right here. So I, I, oh, I pulled it all the way see to that? its limit. To you where see that this, speckling? To where this started happening. And this is what I've had problems with, this metallic 3M. This is what will happen when you're trying to stretch too far. If you stretch it too far, you run into issues like this, yep. yeah. I don't even know what that's called. Well, the, the laminate literally starts to separate. Uh, or it, But the over laminate, oh, not yep. the under laminate. Yeah. That's a different thing. I'm not sure if they use a liquid laminate or not, but. All right, and let's try to shrink it back. It did actually kind of discolor. This it is a did. little bit lighter. Yep. So it did burn a hole in it. Uh, that's probably just because I was being careless. <laughs> but um, you still uh, have these lamination. You still have this lamination problem right here when you stretched it. So measure that. 
So to see that, that didn't actually go back as well as the Avery did. But it did bounce back to the same 19. But it, it's got all these weird... But now we've got problems with yeah, it. Yeah, we got a lot of problems with it. The Avery one, we didn't have any issues. So this one actually stretched two more inches, but it's That's not little, usable. It's not usable. It's not usable. Yep. Don't count that because I burned it. <laughs> well, it possibly could have been because of overstretching and then burn, and then, you know, if it is overstretched, which which you'll, you'll find if, if you have something overstretched and then you go to heat it with a torch or say heat gun, it doesn't matter, it'll literally just spider. So like, exactly like this, this way it'll just I apart. had just put way too yep. much tension on it and it just made the material just, yep. it'll just, just die, it just died. All right, and the next one is the Hexus again, Hexus HK or H HX 20,000. And three, two, one. It's a little smoky. Oh, see how that? Yeah. So you see how it just created this whole sh uh, like shaded area from stretching, over stretching. Um, let's see what that went down to though. That went about 30, 31, but that area is not usable. That way, can well, you see it? You'd see the light. Oh, that's thin. Mm -hmm. So you see how, see how thin it gets. It's overstretched. That's like super thin. Yep. Crazy. So be careful heating that. All right. So, See, this material has does not have good. Did rebound. it have rebounds? <laughs> not everyone can be a rebound. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that didn't that didn't rebound at all. That's no. just screwed. That's messed up. And that's cut your losses. Definitely overstretched. Yep. So. Um, and that one bounced back to about 19. But it's definitely not usable. So the only one so far from this extreme test is the Avery. Is the Avery. That's the only one turned out. That's the only one that was still usable and didn't get the overstressing. So we're gonna do one more. That is the Oracle 970 RA again, shade shift. Oh no! Did you get any marks? No. 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 But you can definitely tell at the top where I'm sitting. I can see that it's very thin. Yeah, it's definitely thin up here. It's just kind but of the, the lamp. it didn't delaminate. Nope. It's just really stressed. I probably wouldn't it's push it. It's very stressed, that one. and it looks like it's kind of changing color. Too. Uh, tape. And we are at 29. About 29 inches. But it did bounce back. It bounced back okay, aside from it wrinkling on itself. It did rebound pretty well. I don't see any any imperfections really. This right here is still usable. Yep. Yeah. All right, so now let's uh, analyze the data or whatever. <laughs> okay, so we ran our little stretch test and rebound tests. Um, we analyzed the data or sort of, and uh, this is what we came out to. So the Avery was able to stretch an additional 63%. So like it went from 19 inches to 31 inches is what it was able to stretch to. And it was able to bounce back. It rebounded pretty much 90% or more, right? Um, and then it stretched 10 inches into our bucket. The 3M stretched 11.5 inches into our bucket and it stretched an additional 59%. Uh, and then the Hexus, 11 inches in our bucket and 61% um, additional stretch capabilities. Uh, and then the Oracal went in 11 inches and it was a 65% um, additional stretch to that with heat. Um, so overall, 
Yes, they all stretch about the same, but um, these three we had problems when we overstretched. Mm -hmm. um, especially when we did the single pieces. When we did the buckets, most of them bounced back all right. I think that's because it was like tacked and mm -hmm. that made it better. Um, but Avery really, I think, handled the stretch the best overall as, so as well as being, being able to rebound and reuse. So yeah. those are our um, opinions on our favorite materials. Keep in mind, this is just us running some fun, just tests fun tests in the today. shop. So um, if you guys have any advice or comments or anything about the materials or um, any of our future videos, feel free to drop a comment in the section below and don't forget to subscribe.